Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy, uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir. What's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. You know what I really like about watching baseball? Not missing the first pitch. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? I guess. Good morning. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Lost? Me? Bon voyage!
Hello there, big cuddly guy. I think I grabbed the wrong package. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. this.
Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. In a few days, I won't even need that map. On earth did these folks order? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily. I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Bear Creek again.
Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. heavier than I thought. There's a new face. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Big cuddly guy. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, 
Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Well, anyway, gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie.
is Stan's diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So... Coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. No offense, Maureen, but I'm gonna back away slowly. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Ugh. That poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. 